I've talked about some of the past contests MTV held back in its heyday in the 80s, including the fan who got a party with Van Halen, or the time the network gave away a whole town to one lucky viewer. The link to those videos are down below in the description box. But today I want to talk about perhaps MTV's most insane contest of all time. It involved musician John Cougar Mellencamp and his hometown, and today we'll explore the full story. It would be one man at MTV who was behind a lot of the contests the network ran during the 80s. That man would be the director of promotion and artist relations, John Sykes. In 1983, John Cougar Mellencamp had a hit single named Pink Houses, and Tommy Mottola, who worked in Mellencamp's label, would reveal in the book I Want My MTV just how powerful the network was at the time, saying, we were trying to get in everybody's good favor at MTV, so we get as much heavy rotation as possible. Sykes would reveal in the same book the first time he met Mellencamp saying, I met John Mellencamp performing in New York. We were playing Jack and Diane over and over again, and he was a smart guy. I asked him if he wanted to do a promotion for us where we give away a pink house. I said, we'll buy it in your hometown and we'll have a big party if you'll play in the living room. He said, I'll do that. MTV, wanting to capitalize on the success of the single Pink Houses, held a contest called Paint the Mother Pink. The network bought a house in Mellencamp's hometown of Bloomington, Indiana, and was going to give it away to one lucky fan under the condition that they paint it pink. The problem was that MTV didn't do their research, and the first house the network purchased just conveniently happened to be located next to a toxic waste dump. It would be Rolling Stone magazine who broke the news about its unfortunate location. Sykes would hop on a plane to Indiana to purchase another house for the network, and he would recall in the same book, I pulled up in the car and a woman came out with cookies to give to me because she really wanted to sell her house. This poor single mom with her kid, I didn't even get out of the car, I said we'll take it. It would be the second house that would be used for the contest, but according to Rolling Stone magazine, the network purchased a third house just to shoot the promo, which saw college students painting it pink and having a chopper drive through the house. Here's the promo MTV ran. This is your idea of the right place to live. You've been watching the wrong channel. It's our little dream house, the MTV Party House. You live it, you own it, like it or not. It's smack in the middle of the heartland. Bloomington, Indiana, hometown of John Cougar Mellencamp. And oh yeah, you have the painted paint. Little pink house, yeah, you and me. You can be the grand prize winner and proud owner of the world's first rock and roll estate. And we'll even throw in a housewarming party. Just call up 25 of the wrong people and we'll fly everybody in for the weekend. John Cougar Mellencamp is your barbecue chairman. And later that night... The house band's gonna be me and I'm gonna be playing right in your brand new living room. Even later, there's a private screening of Universal's new movie, Streets of Fire. stop. You'll also get a Jeep CJ. We'll paint it MTV paint. A complete stereo system from Pioneer and a garage full of Hawaiian punch fruit punch. Here's how to enter and win. Just sent 1,000 runners up win the John Cougar Mellencamp album. Uh-huh. So pack your bags. You're moving. No matter where you live, you gotta take the house. The MTV party house. I give you the deeds and the keys and then we paint the mother pink. So you're maybe wondering, what happened to the first house? Well, Sykes would reveal in the same book that the network couldn't sell the house and had it sit on their books until 1992 when they used it as a tax write-off. The winner would end up being a Seattle native named Susan Miles, who in addition to winning the house, would get a new Jeep, a new stereo, a private concert from Mellencamp in the home's living room, and a ride on his motorcycle. Here's some clips of MTV covering the event. Susan Miles of Seattle, Washington is moving to Bloomington, Indiana, at least for the weekend. Probably caused the most commotion in Bloomington that we've heard about since they opened the 3rd Street underpass. It's going nowhere, isn't it? Yeah, it's great. I love it. We threw a housewarming party with John Cougar Mellencamp. is a strange town and uh, we welcome strangeness. She also won an MTV Pink Jeep CJ. Right. Great. Drives like a charm. Well, everybody will know who I am now. And a down-home barbecue. Oh, we yeah. cannot identify this. Yeah. We're going to find the
contest another winner on MTV Music Television. You could be next. Susan Miles and 25 of her friends from Bellevue, Washington partied all weekend long. It was the MTV Party House in Bloomington, Indiana, where Susan was presented with the deed to the house she can now call her very own. John Cougar Mellencamp, resident of Bloomington, was the official host of the party. Cougar and members of his band joined in all the festivities, including a game of football. In fact, John even treated Susan to a ride on his motorcycle. The lucky winner was presented with several other prizes, including this brand new Jeep. Everybody joined in to paint the house pink, but the highlight of the party was Cougar and his band performing for the group in the living room of Susan Miles' new pink house. According to page six, the winner would move into the house for only two days before selling it. That does it for today's video, guys. Thanks for watching. Be sure to like button and subscribe, and we'll see you again on Rock and Roll True Stories. Take care.